All right, we're back. Hope you guys are doing well or coronavirus free. Uh, I think we might be on the back side of this thing, uh, you know, hopefully, but we'll find out, you know, here in a couple months. But we're back on our uh, AB763 Deluxe Reverb build. Um, again, I'm doing the, the mechanical part first. The for first video talked about um, the little nuances of the amp itself and the history. Um, but now we're actually starting into into the build itself. Uh, I have all the two sockets in place. Um, if you notice with the hardware that's provided for the octal sockets, um, I don't know if you can see that or not, but they are longer. The 440 screws, I believe, are 3 8 for the octal sockets because you also need to accommodate for the clamshell, the fender style vintage tube retainers on this. Um, so you're going to have six of the 3 8 440, and the rest of these um, 12. Well, the six sockets, but you're you're going to have 12 440 by quarter inch screws um, for the uh, Novell sockets, which are the the nine pin pre nine pin preamp socket. Excuse me, I'm tripping over my words here. Um, so if you notice that the tube shields are already installed on the actual socket itself. Um, I like to put the octals in, installed into the actual chassis from the top. Um, of course, you, with the 9-pin preamp, the Novol sockets, you need to put those in, of course, from the bottom of the chassis because they have you can't get the uh, tube shield mount between the holes. So these go on the outside. So it would actually be installed you know, this way and then because you need the tube retainers here and just for aesthetics, um, I like these to install the octals um, on the inside, which the ones that we have, uh, they're Michael X. Uh, of course, I believe the, the original ones uses a, a phenolic rosin or even a, maybe even a Bakelite. Um, these can withstand temperature a lot better without um, cracking, you know, heat deterioration. So that's why I like to use this brown stuff um, other than ceramic and some of our other builds. For the actual, you know, amp itself. So, again, if you notice, uh, these are mounted from the inside. The mount flange fits perfectly into our deluxe reverb chassis. All right. So we've got the tube sockets done, uh, which is basically the first start, the the first part rather of um, installing the hardware into the chassis. For me, anyway. Um, of course, people do it in different ways. They like do everything along the back panel and everything along the front, or however you want to do it. Um, but this this is a good start for you. Um, so next, what I'm going to do is move um, up to the pots. I, I could do back here, um, but I want to go ahead and get the pots in place with a faceplate, um, so you can see what that looks like. And that will be uh, coming up here shortly. Just hang on a little bit, and we'll get this going. <laughs> 